Hello everyone. Today we're gonna to introduce the open form safety package and also the structure of this package. It is essential for the student or researcher who wants to learn the open form and simulate the fluid flow phenomena in this software. When you install the open form, you can find two important directories. The first is the open form library, and the second is the third party library that we use this third party library to visual data and also pre or post processing the CFT results. At the first, I load and launch my open form version 7. Then I would like to see what is the path to the open form 7 project. I use the echo command. Here is the path to the open form version 7. Now I would like to see what file and uh, uh, which directory exists at the open form 7 uh, project. So I can use the tree command to see which directory and files exist there. Okay, let's use it. When I use the tree command, here we can find nine directories, including the application being doc, src or source code and test. So I will dis explain more about this directory. Again, I listed here the important directory in the open form and we're gonna to explain more about each of them. I have a mistake here and also here. The application directory is very important since it includes the solvers and also the distributed utilities and you can use the solver and utilities in the whole of the operating system if you compile them. The second is the SRC or source code. It includes the finite volume discretization or turbulence modeling and thermophysical properties, dynamic mesh, source code. You can find it and also check the code at there. The third is the tutorial directory. It includes lots of and different tutorials for the different solvers. In the doc directory, you can find the user guide and also the programming guide the open form. The wmake and bin and test and also other directory it is a bit more complicated and it is out of the scope of this video but I will explain more about this directory in the future. Okay let to check the form application directory and see what is there. I use the three command to check the form app directory. Here you can find a folder named solver and test and also utility directory. The solvers directory include the source code of the solvers. For example, for the ICO form or pimple form, you can find the source code of the solvers and maybe you need to modify them. And also for the incompressible flow, compressible flow or two-phase flow for the combustion application solvers, you can find everything about the solvers in this directory. In the utility directory, you can find the distributed utility for the pre and post processing data. For example, you want to generate a mesh by black mesh utility, then you can find the source code of the black mesh in this utility. Or you have a mesh that's generated by the Gambit or ANSYS machine, and you, uh, you're gonna to convert the mesh from the ANSYS to the open form. Then you can find a utility at this directory to convert the mesh from the ANSYS or Fluent to the open form. In the test directory, you can find some example of using open form classes. I think it is necessary to learn how these classes work and it is necessary to check it. For example, you want to know what is the dimension scalar field, how the matrix work, and you can find some useful example at this directory. In the SRC or source code, we can find different library. The most important of them is the open form or for the form extend version is the form directory. It is the core library of the open form, including the operation or basic definition of the library that uh, you can see in the other libraries like the finite volume or transport models. Another important directory and library in the open form is the finite volume. 
It consists of the classes for the using in the finite volume method to discretize the governing equation and convert them to the algebraic uh, equation. Also, in this directory, you can find the basic boundary condition and also the derived boundary condition. In the other directory, like transport models or dynamic mesh, you can find something interesting. For example, in the turbulence models, you can find the laminar flow model. And also for the turbulent flow, we have uh, LES model and also a RANS model. You can check the source code at this directory. And also, if you need it, you can develop your own model for the turbulent flow. For example, in this directory, on the turbulence models, incompressible turbulent transport models for the RIS, Reynolds average zero stress, we have these models there. You can find them, the source code at that. Here is the source code of this model. And we can check it if you need it, you can use it or maybe modify them. Until now, we just talked about the open form structure, but now we're gonna to talk about the configuration of the a tutorial and set up a test case and run it by open form. So, at the first, we gonna to describe the directory existing in each tutorial of the open form. For each tutorial of the open form, you can find at least three folder. The first is the zero folder. The first is the zero folder that include P and U for the velocity and the pressure. The second is the constant directory. You can find here the transport properties and poly mesh directory. And also system directory. Black mesh dict, control dict, FE schemes, FE solution, sample dict, and also if you need it, single graph. Okay, in the zero directory, we always introduce the fluid field. That means, for example, if we have an incompressible flow, we introduce the velocity and the pressure. And if we have a two-phase flow, in addition to the velocity and the pressure, we have to introduce the volume fraction of the phases. And in each file, for the velocity or pressure or for the volume fraction, we also introduce the initial condition, and also set the boundary condition, specify the type of the boundary condition and its value. And in the constant directory, we always introduce the transport properties like viscosity or thermal diffusion or uh, thermal conductivity. And in the constant directory, when we generate the mesh, we have a new directory named polymesh. In the polymesh, you can find information about the points, phase, and cells that generated by the black mesh or other utility to convert a mesh from another software or package to the open form. And if we have a more complex flow modeling, maybe we, we can find other dictionary like thermophysical properties or thermodynamic properties at the constant directory. And finally, in the last directory in the system, we can find different files. The first is the control dict file. In this file, you can set the time steps, the start time, the final, and the end time of the simulation, how you, you want to write the data, and also the parameter to control your simulation is provided in the control disk. And in the FVA scheme file, we always introduce the discretization method. For, for example, if we have a divergence term, we specify to discretize this term by upwind or ghost linear or van Lier surface delimiter uh, how we can discretize these terms we specify the method of the discretization in the fe scheme and in the fe solution we introduce the method of the pressure velocity coupling and also how the algebraic equation should be solved for example we're gonna to use multi-grid approach or by conjugate gradient approach to solve the algebraic equation. And also we specify the tolerance for the solving the algebraic equation or tolerance for the transient solver. And if you needed to specify a source term or 
a property by FV option. You can use it in the FV option. We have different models. For example, for the porosity, we can use Darcy Ford Himmer model, and we introduce the coefficient of the this model in the FV option. Or if we have a source term at our simulation, we can also use the FV option. And other utility like sample dig, toposet, refine mesh dig uh, should be discussed more in the future. But it is important to say that we put this file in the system directory. Okay, it is an introduction to the open form. And in the further video, we are gonna to use the open form to simulate the fluid flow in the leader iron cavity. And in the future, we are also gonna to use uh, different solvers to simulate the fluid flow phenomena. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any question, uh, please let me know and feel free to ask me. Until the next video, goodbye.